Dan, you told us in the pregame you thought this could be a hard-fought game tonight. It ended up being that way, didn't it? Yeah, it's not easy. And we've talked about this match several times about our league, about our division. It uh, doesn't matter what night it is, what anyone lineup look like. Uh, it, they're tough matches every single night. And, and the work ethic, the, the compete that Iowa brings with them uh, is definitely noticeable. And, and the way they work hard and they're opportunistic. Uh, obviously their power play was working for them there tonight too. So a, a tough challenge coming out of break, but uh, I'm glad that we came away with the win. Now, how much did you like the way your team started this game? I know it was 1-1 one, one after one, but 15 to four in the shots, you really dominated that opening period. We did, I thought their goaltender was excellent uh, all night long to be honest with you. And I, you know, it was one of those things we talked about getting off to better starts. Uh, before the break there, you know, it was actually the, quite the opposite where we were down 15 foreign shots and, and just trying to hang on to, to get to the second period. And I thought tonight we started great. Uh, it led right into that second period where we got that 3-1 lead. Yeah, and certainly you get the you get the 4-2 lead there in the third period. Another great play by TJ Hensick. You've been seeing it for so long. His career is just uh, riddled with so many great assists, and, and he does it again tonight with a couple of helpers. Well, his, his vision, his IQ, the way he sees the game, understands the game, knows where his, his line mates are at. It's, you know, it's fun to watch, and that's really what it is. It's about watching him go to work and, and do his things. Uh, and when he's on, he's on, and, and that's what we need. We need him to provide leadership both on and off the ice right now. Uh, you know, help these young guys uh, get through some of these stretches, teach them how to be professionals, and he's done a fantastic job at that. Yeah, kind of fun watching him talk to Brandon Schultz after that play happened a lot there on the bench. All right, let's talk about it. Uh, got a day in between here, and then uh, another great uh, rivalry. Only the fifth time we're going to play the Fort Wayne Comets in about three weeks. You looking forward to it on Sunday? Yeah, I think so. You know, it's going to be challenging with the way our schedule sets up, but, uh, you know, guys have to show up and play regardless of what our schedule looks like. Uh, we've got to make sure that we are ready. Uh, they play Saturday night. We don't. Uh, it, the game is in our building where we've had success. We want to make sure that it, it's a tough game for Fort Wayne, make sure that we do the right things tomorrow, tomorrow night, and, and Sunday morning when we wake up, that we are prepared uh, to, to go to battle again with the Comets. Again, a heated rivalry like you mentioned, Matt. Uh, always looking forward to these types of games. I think that this rivalry brings out the best of both teams. Well, the last time they played, it was probably the best game we've seen all regular season long. 11-0-1 in your last 12 home games. Dan, congratulations on the win, and uh, thanks for joining us here. Thanks for the curse, Matt. Oh, you got it, buddy. That's <laughs> what I'm here for. I got to put those numbers out there somewhere. <laughs> exactly. And they are out there once again as we Toledo Walleye pick up the victory by a final score of 4-3. to three.